on schedule. Uh, we're joined by Treasurer Josh Frydenberg this morning. Treasurer, households and businesses. Good morning. Gee, they've received a lot of financial support. They tucked it away for a rainy day. But do you think they're actually feeling financially better off? Well, there are definitely families and businesses right across the country uh, that are doing it very tough right now. I mean, we're responding to Omicron, while less severe as a variant, has, has also led to real pressures, as we know, both on the health system and on the supply <laughs> chains, Koshi. Um, but this is a war chest of more than $400 billion that's been accumulated by households, by businesses that will be spent across the economy. And that will help generate jobs, that will hun help underpin Australia's economic economic recovery and it does reflect the fact that our lives have been very disrupted yep. over the last two years. We couldn't spend as we otherwise would on travelling interstate or overseas or going to a cafe or a restaurant and people have been a little cautious and indeed they've saved a bit more than they otherwise would and the government's provided enormous amounts of tax relief and economic support. All that's come together to create this war chest. Uh, you've been given a bit of a clip by your uh, New South Wales compatriot, uh, <laughs> uh, treasurer, a coalition treasurer, um, in fact, who's just released a billion dollar um, financial package for small businesses in New South Wales, saying he was hoping you'd be standing next to him and, uh, and paying for half of it and is disappointed you weren't. What do you say to Matt Keane? Well, firstly, the South Australian government just announced yesterday a small business package and they didn't reach out to the Commonwealth government asking for support. They did it alone and we welcome South Australia doing that just as we welcome uh, New South Wales making this investment. But every single day of this pandemic, the Morrison government's provided an unprecedented amount of economic support to the people of Australia, including the people of New South Wales. Uh, that has seen more than $63 billion, Koshi, roll out, yeah. whether it's JobKeeper, the cash flow boost, uh, the, uh, the various COVID disaster payments through Delta, where we were paying more than a billion dollars a week into New South Wales alone. But importantly for your viewers this morning, there is still economic support from the federal government flowing right. to that state. Uh, we have the pandemic leave disaster payment of up to $750 a week. We have the SME guarantee scheme, which provides loans to small businesses. And we also have a loss carry yeah. back measure where they can get a cash okay. refund from the tax office. All right. So he, he gives you a bit of a clip at a time when the first news poll of the year comes out, showing the worst result yeah. for the coalition since the leadership spill in 2018. Labor deemed the better party at leading Australia's recovery out of the pandemic. Um, yes, there's all this support, but you're losing the confidence of, of the population. Well, as you know, it's been a very ter um, terrible two years, really, uh, for so many people, and a very challenging summer that's been disrupted, Koshi. Uh, there is, though, in politics, only one poll that counts, and that's on election day, and many people predicted uh, falsely and wrongly uh, that the, uh, the coalition was going to lose the last election, and they were proven to be wrong. Uh, and ultimately, the Australian people will decide when the election yep. is called about who they want to continue to, to, to govern. But there's also a message in this news poll and that message is that many people continue to do it tough. Their summers have been disrupted. Um, they've been frustrated. The fact that Omicron and, and COVID has, has gone on for some time now. Uh, and that's why we continue mm. to roll out the economic support. So we understand the challenges people face. That's why we're working every day to help okay. them. All right, Treasurer. Not looking too shaggy at all. The kid from Kooyong was at the tennis last night. And <laughs> sent, sent me a WhatsApp at 1 o'clock and said, at uh, 1am this morning, said, do I get brownie points for turning up? You actually perform remarkably well, considering. <laughs> Thanks, Goshi. Right. It was a good night's tennis. Yeah, it was a great weekend of tennis. All right, Treasurer, thank you. Here's that.